Well, this one actually, I gotta cut it now because I'm at the end of this run. So I pop that one off. Put my gray in. Is that our blood on last? Left off. That's it. Sooner or later, this whole thing will just start creeping in. Yeah. So that gives it a little bit of extra give. Yeah. Yeah, so when you smash it down, it pushes out the uh, occasionally like that. There it is. Just six of those. And then I leave this end hanging out. What are you doing right now for the pedals? Uh, it's just uh, one pedal moves up two, two of these yeah. pedal, uh, pedal bars. And it only does that because this half from here to here is on this back end, where everything else is on the front, because I ran out of it. Yeah, them. but are you doing one? Oh, two? it's just basic. Yeah. yeah, just one and two. Nothing, nothing weird. On the scarf that I'm going to do later on this, maybe next week, because I still got to set up. I will do a, um, I'm not going to do a twill. I'm going to do a, a really nice pattern this time. Twills are nice, but if I can keep it to this type of basic pattern, or, or, yeah, this is a pattern, really. If I can keep it to this, uh, I think they call it a tabby weave, but add a little bit of flair to it, I can move it through faster. Um, twills take a lot more work. So I'm gonna research a few neat looking patterns and then uh, hopefully have a nice little scarf. And that's it. And this goes by fairly quickly. So it's six and then how many? What's that? Oh, six and then 42. About 42. What I've been doing is using a uh, a tool to measure instead of counting it. If I felt like I overdid it, then I'll go back and just count it real quick. But I think we're really about to run out. This one I'll do, I'll open up the next, I'll send it through, pull up the extra, and heat it down, pull out, and then send this through, and then I'll overlap them just by a little bit, pull some up. And then after I wash the cloth, I'll just clip it, and that's it, you're done.
So every time I do one of these, I try to do something different so I can learn a new technique. Yes. So for this one, it's basically sending the shuttle through and finding out what problems I have because they make so many different types of shuttles. At some point, I'll come to the realization that there's one that I like and one that I don't. So far, I like this one. And then the next thing is, so I'm still getting used to throwing it. You know what? I don't want to leave that. I was gonna, it's got too much on this end, but when I wash it, that will roll away. See, and I keep doing that too. Now, I don't know if that's my shuttle or it's because of some tension I'm having uh, with the threads on that end. If your tension's not right, then you'll, you'll keep getting that. There. It's a yarn. <laughs> yeah. Positions it's just alternating? Yeah. Up and down? Yeah, yeah. and I moved it to the very far left to the very far right. And that's what's nice about this type of loom is I can set those pedals wherever I want them to be. If I want them directly below, right in the middle, I can do that. If I wanted to hit, if I was real lazy and I just wanted to have all three on this side, I could just drop my whole foot down. Um, because the pedals are so small, you can't wear shoes doing that. Or else it will, uh, you'll end up hitting like two at the same time. So that's one of the problems with this. In a way, you have to have like organ shoes that are meant for doing that. I have one pair of uh, running shoes that actually work. Monkey shoes. <laughs> Uh, several. 